George Vaccarino tribute speech. Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. King, or simply known as ML by his family, was born on January 15, 1929. Dr. King is memorialized as a visionary leader of the modern civil rights movement, a minister, and an author. He is mostly characterized by his amazing, charismatic presence. King is also known as a staunch advocate of nonviolence and social protest. On April 4th, 1968, Dr. King was assassinated. One biographer described it as depriving America of a symbol of moral and social progress. Throughout Dr. King's life, he was awarded many achievements. Two significant ones are he was awarded the 1963 Nobel Peace Prize. And in 1964, he was named Time Magazine's Man of the Year. On August 28, 1963, Dr. King delivered one of the most iconic and recognized speeches in history. It is known as the I Have a Dream speech. I say to you today, my friends, so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will have a sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day in the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all God's children, blacks and whites, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will have a joint hands in singing the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty! Free at last. The march, led by Union leader A. Philip Randolph and organizer Bayard Rustin, drew more than 200,000 supporters, 50,000 of them white. They included people from all walks of life. Among their demands were the passage of the Civil Rights Bill, desegregation of schools and housing, elimination of racial discrimination in hiring, job training, an increasing in minimum wage, and the enforcement of the 14th Amendment. The institutional climax of King's civil rights works came out with the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act and the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Dr. King is a great icon to the whole world for what he did and for what he went through. All the racists, all the racism, being called names, but focusing on the true goal, making all men equal, and letting everyone come together. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is a true hero and icon to all. Thank you.